We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Ellingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that combustion from gas stoves can raise indoor levels of the toxic chemical benzene. In the hushed corners of our cosy homes, gas stoves hiss with intent, whispers of malice dancing in the simmering heat of every duck confit and tin of own brand beans. Tiny tongues that lick and curl, savouring the tastes with every sour breath, their flames a vessel of transformation where alchemy takes flight, yet in shadows sickness looms, trembling sickly fingers reaching out to spread their malaise. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology, which has found that gas stoves in California and Colorado have been found to be a significant source of the toxic chemical benzene. Gas stoves release toxic chemicals like carbon monoxide, formaldehyde and nitrogen dioxide, which can harm respiratory health and increase asthma risks. Benzene, a carcinogen formed during incomplete combustion, is also present from indoor gas stoves and poses a significant risk, particularly for leukemia and lymphoma. With over one third of US households and millions worldwide using gas for cooking, the scale of exposure is substantial. However, until now there hasn't been any research that quantified the formation of benzene inside homes, specifically from gas stoves. In this new study, researchers examined 87 homes across California and Colorado and found that the combustion of natural gas and propane in these stoves emitted measurable levels of benzene. In some homes, the indoor benzene concentrations exceeded established health guidelines. The researchers found gas and propane burners in ovens emitted 10 to 50 times more benzene than electric stoves, and that induction cooktops emitted no detectable benzene whatsoever. Benzene from gas and propane stoves were also found to spread throughout the entire home, leading to elevated benzene levels in bedrooms for several hours even after the stove was turned off. This suggests that gas stoves could significantly contribute to benzene exposure and compromise indoor air quality. Taking measures to mitigate these risks, such as improving ventilation and considering alternative cooking methods, is therefore essential to ensure both a healthy indoor environment and a sustainable future. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. In the hushed corners of our cosy homes, gas stoves hiss with intent. Whispers of malice dancing in the simmering heat of every duck confit and tin of own brand beans. Tiny tongues that lick and curl, savouring the tastes with every sour breath. Their flames a vessel of transformation where alchemy takes flight. Yet in shadows sickness looms, trembling sickly fingers reaching out to spread their malaise. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading In Praise of Old Stoves by Paul Petrie. Paul James Petrie was an American poet born in Detroit, Michigan in 1928. His work appeared in over 100 literary journals, including Poetry, The New Yorker, and The New York Times. Petrie's poems, diverse in form and subject matter, explore themes of mutability and the human response to transience. 
His collections, including From Under the Hill of Night, published in 1969, and The Rooms of Grace, published in 2005, garnered critical acclaim. Petrie's profound impact on poetry earned him many awards and accolades, including the Capricorn Award and the Wayne State University Arts Achievement Award. In Praise of Old Stoves, by Paul Petrie. I open the fire's door and bathe both neck and hands in gusts of orange light. The topmost coals burn blue, chased, unwilling ghosts, but those beneath them glow in honeycombs of heat, constant vermilion sweet made magical and small if I could live forever in those white cloistered rooms. Surely the ones who turn in endless pain refuse the fire's gift and live, and those who rise in waves of rapt, angelic might give their forms up and melt into rooms of grace. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.